challenges that might exist in the farm worker communities in the Western Cape, access to, to resources within the communities. It's remote, there's no taxi services on the roads, so to travel to get to town is difficult. Other difficulties can be the low educational level of the parents, where they then struggle to be able to help their children with their homework. The main aim of the Pebbles Project would be to work with wine farm worker children in the Western Cape, and specifically in education. My name is Marilise Bays. I work for the Pebbles Project Trust. Our early childhood development centres are based on the farms themselves, so the children will just go to a building on the farm in the morning. And we basically train up staff from the farm. So if someone is really passionate and they really care about children, to become early childhood development teachers. Die kinders het hier gedink, ek sal een dag hulle hier vrouw word. Ek ook moest nog van die naaskola kom en ek dink, dit kan vir hulle ook wees dat hulle een dag dit kan bereik. My naam is Annelien Piet en ek woon op Houmoed Plaas. Met kind uit Pebbelstein is baie goed vir my. Maar met kind sy vordering, het verbeter by die school. Van laaskool tot die hoogskool. If I look at Pebbles when I started and where we are at now, the way we've grown and the amount of services that we provide, We've got five pillars that we focus on, from education, which is our main pillar, then we've got the nutrition program that helps with uh, feeding of the children. The clinic, so we've got a medical services that's also been rendered to the, the community. Good morning, Ella. When I started with Pebbles, I had to in the project. And I had to say, I want to participate in the brandy. En dan heb ik me gebrand tot die, ik kom luister, hoe werkt het en dan zei ik, ja, ik kan vrijwillige dienst doen. Ja, ik heb het gedaan en nu is ik een permanente brandje, man. Hij stelt een bos, municipality. Ja, dan moet ik het zeggen. In je rol, hè? Taswo volunteered for a total of three years, receiving nothing, going there on a bicycle. And now he's fully employed and he actually won a um, reward for being the, the toughest fireman uh, from Stellenbosch. I think here what people do is very important in their children's lives. So I want to say that they must stay on the place as the children and out to strive for what they do. These are South African heroes.